Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to bring you something that I'm calling Creator Commentary. And this is a sort of like a developer commentary thing, but on my promos I thought it would be a good idea to take you inside my creative process for a couple of my promos and just like how I'm thinking of them, how I'm making them. You know, what I'm, how I'm interpreting the music and the lyrics, because everyone interprets it differently, so I thought it would be very interesting to find out what other people thought of the promo, how they interpreted it, compare that to my visions, well, you know, not visions as such, but you know what I mean, uh, interpretations. So I'm going to start with my 218 promo because I, I drew a little bit of criticism for this, and not, not bad criticism, just good feedback. Um, you know, a couple of people saying that uh, there wasn't much arc there, which I agree. If you think of it, if if you're going for a more traditional style, it doesn't hold up as well as in like sound bites because there isn't much. So in that sense, I don't think it, you know you're right on that sense. It doesn't hold up too well on that end. But that's not all I was, what I was going for. I was trying to tell a story through the lyrics. Now, not saying I did a perfect job because there's probably a few things I can work on. But if considering I I chose to go down that route, I think I did an okay job. Well, at least I'm satisfied. So I figured I would, uh, today, I would open up my editing software, I'd pull in the clip, and I would um, go ahead and sort of uh, walk, you, walk you through it and just analyse it with the scenes and the lyrics. So I guess we'll just start now. So right there you had your traditional sort of opener. I wasn't sure what to put, so I thought I would do a little flashback of the previous fight. Bit of... Uh, a few sound bites over, you know, it's done in other things. And here we start, here we start going into the more sort of lyric based approach. So, walking circles in dry oasis. I chose the scene where he's walking here. I thought it would fit considering I'm going for the lyrics approach, like I man mentioned. Dry oasis, hmm, not much I could really tie that to, but I guess. It looks dry in the background and it's hot, so you could. Eh. We feel the rain is coming. Here, feel the rain is coming. He's pouring water over his head. I thought that would be a good uh, way to sort of depict it. We'll overtake all of the water. Overtake all of the water in places. So it starts with him doing his gloves. That's him getting ready to overtake. This is him also getting ready to overtake, and this is where it says overtake, and I, I, I wanted to do a little throwback to where he's, he won his belts. And then you have Wartorn, as it goes, Wartorn. Yep, Wartorn places, I chose the Octagon. I figured, you know, that is, you know, for all intents and purposes, pretty Wartorn. Build, build our hope. He's nodding his head, he's confident. Again. Again. Clenched fist, it's a rematch. He wants to win. So now we go back to the end of the first fight. He's just lost. He's sad. And Holloway is happy. He's won his belt. No other time we've seen. There was a good shot I, I could find with them. Both of them. Sort of close up eye shots. I thought, yeah, this, this, I'll pick this because scene, eyes, I thought it would fit. We got the key. I tried to parallel on the second shot with the transition here. Got the keys to set us free. Keys to set us free, the belt. Oh, oh, oh. Again, a little bit of fl flashback scene here where he had the belt, but also a cool looking scene, so it fits for both. Him reflecting on what he had. All down to our bones. See, you, he's grimacing here. He's, you know, he's working out. He's putting in a, he may, you know, put in a sweat. So I thought this would work. This is our prayer. This is our oath. This is our oath. Fighting. You often hear fighters say, "Fighting is everything to me. It's in my blood." So I figured this might work, you know, it's a good shot representing what, you know, sort of the fruits of his labour, you know, he's won his belt, he put in the hard work, he won. Fighting is his oath. We feel the spark, in us. spark in us, you've got him, you know, bouncing about, energetic. 
This one wasn't too short, but I did reference Gold on Touch later when they repeated the lyric. So I just, uh, I picked, um, for this bit I picked, you know, a shot that I thought would just look nice. Because, you know, there isn't enough footage in the world to sync to every single lyric in the world. Or at least not for this one there isn't, so. But here, if I go back a little bit, you'll see we've got Max smiling as he usually is. He's jovial and Aldo, deadly serious, ready to fight. Again, raw blood, not too much to relate to, so I just picked some nice looking shots. So you've got when darkness overcomes. For Aldo, that's that's uh, when he got knocked out by McGregor. Yeah, 13 seconds, shock to the system, can't believe it. His whole world has basically come crashing down, in a sense. Still lighting us. See, I chose a, I chose a, I chose some video here with the light in the background. I thought that would be a nice sort of way to express it. Tie it to the lyrics. Oh, and I do want to go back to a cooler transition I made. You see here, it's sort, you know, it's very similar, but it's 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 a close up. But because the angle and the his expression is similar, it, it transitions well. I thought I'd just point that one out. Rising up, he's going into the octagon. Looks like he's sort of rising up the stairs there. And also, these are their, both their tattoos. I thought would be a cool shot to just do. Chosen for this. Sort of the same thing with the Destiny Rising. You know, he's chosen. I guess I thought it would look cool. Again, something where there's not too much way to tie it since you've just done it before. But, well, actually, the one before I didn't really tie either too much, but I think I did later, yeah. Again, one of those that if you can't exactly tie it like you want to, try and get a nice looking shot to sort of, that sort of references it in some way. We hold the pressure, all the pressure, all the weight we carry. He's going forward, he's sort of it's showing his back, you know. There's a, there's a saying, well, not this isn't going to be verbatim, but, you know, weight on my back. I've got a lot of weight on my back. You know, so I'll try to follow that one a little bit for this bit here. We weight we carry. We've got, we've got, uh, yeah, Aldo here. Also continuing that little saying with the backpack. Strengths. strengths, Brazil. Aldo is, you know, you can, he's very patriotic, so I... Uh, I thought I would put the flag in there as a strength of his, sort of. If you're going, yeah, like I said, tying it to the lyrics. Go thin. Won't let our strengths go thin, so he will not let his love for the country or his strength that he gets from being... I mean, you know what I mean, like, the maybe it motivates him that he has a whole country behind him, so he wouldn't let that grow thin. That's what I was trying to play off there. We'll take this chance Now, this, I love this scene. I'm very proud of this. And that's because the Aldo took this far on short notice. So you've got, we'll take these chances, which is Aldo, which is Holloway taking a fight on short notice. Change of opponent. And then you've got Aldo, it shows Aldo, and, he's, and, and the song goes through, cer through circumstances. So circumstances such as Al Edgar had to pull out, Aldo comes in. And it shows them both sort of wrapping their... Or getting their ham wraps on, sort of preparing for the battle. Build our hopes again. That's that's for Aldo there, as as in like the pro, you know. I, I say that's for Aldo. Do you know what I mean? Like it's it's part of his sort of the whole idea of this is a, is is sort of like um, Aldo's revenge, but also Max is sort of the way. It's hard. See. The, the 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 general theme is Aldo's revenge, but I didn't leave out you know because in my first promo, my first ever promo, it was very centered around Aldo, and I thought that was too. And people pointed that out. It was too centered around Aldo, so I tried to have a mix of Aldo and Holloway, sort of balance it out. 
So that line there where it says build our hope again, that's referring to Aldo wanting his belt back to re- to sort of solidify his legacy again. Or sort of build upon it more and get his championship title back. Which he had for such a long time. Again, the belt there, keys to set us free. And here we've just got some more regular training shots, you know. You've got to have these in a pro, you just have to. It adds to the hype. And, it, and it, you know, it's, it's, it's a proven formula that works, so to speak. Wasn't too much to play off here, but I t- sort of went on some... I, I tried to fill the gap between the lyrics with a nice transition. It, not, not, I mean, not just filling... this. What th- These scenes aren't just me picking random scenes to fill the gap, but, you know... Because like there were no lyrics to play off of, I just I, I tried to make some nice transitions with some good looking clips. So you have Aldo, you have Aldo here, and it transitions again to Holloway looking at each other. Let's continue. And then again, this also follows on the keys that set us free. If, if you want to think about it that way, because. It's 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 something to work for. So now you, I, I showed shots of them training. I wouldn't say at the time this was explicitly what I was thinking of, but now that I've had a second guess or second sort of look at it, it makes sense that I sort of can interpret it like that. You, like I said, everyone interprets it. Even the creator interprets it differently after a couple of things. Not not. You know, totally differently, but there are things he can, he or she can pick up on after a, a second viewing that they maybe didn't sort of intentionally do the first time, but the second time they're like, oh, that's something cool that I didn't sort of intend to do, but it still works anyway. So, Keith set us free, and then they're tr- they're sort of you know they're they're, they're they're training, they're hitting the mat, they're hitting the mitts, and all that good stuff. Worn down to our bones again. Aldo, after his defeat, crushed, you know. Like, like it says, worn down to our bones. Like, this is... This isn't, like... This is him, you know, at his at his worst. You know, not not worse as in performance-wise, but... He's, he's exp- like... There's nothing to hide. Like, this is his raw emotion. He's, he's fought to his last breath. He tried. He failed. Worn down. He was worn down to his bones in the fight. This is a prayer, this is our oath. Now for Max, this is a prayer, this is our oath. The belt, this is what he's worked for. Thought I'd put that in there. We feel the smoke in us. We got the golden touch. Also happy with that, the golden touch. The golden touch, you hear that, and then Holloway hits Aldo, knocks him down. And about back here a bit where we've got a spark in us. Wasn't too sure what to put for this, so I picked a cool shot of him with his bandana. Thought that would... Uh, Go well, and here we get into a we're getting to a part where there was uh, a little bit, I won't say criticised, but there was a few people that pointed out that maybe I should I've overdone a couple of things, and I do agree. I have a look back at it. If I could do this again, I would change a few things, not many, but a few things. We got, the we got footage of just uh, Aldo. We're gonna have footage of Aldo and Holloway. Just you know, you get this a lot of promos. They're fine, you know, five footage. You have to have that in there somewhere. Chosen for this, you've got him sort of exhaling. Sort of, it's Anderson does this. He'll sort of put his arms out and go back to the cage. It's sort of him. You know, he's chosen for this. He's sort of. It's hard to explain to, from my perspective, but I think you'll get it. You know, chosen for this. The way he, his, the way his demeanor is. You know, the way his his expression. Yeah. Again, they're still lighting us. There's the light in the background. And you got when darkness overcomes. That didn't apply specifically to the bit where exactly you could hear the lyrics in the video. But a little bit ahead, you've got Max. It's a dark. It's dark there, and you've got Aldo in the light.
So that little sequence there is where people suggested that maybe I should have toned down the sort of hit impacts or maybe added some sound bites over it, and I agree. It was a little excessive. But at the t- with me, I, I, I wouldn't have been satisfied if I had to leave that without having an impact on every punch because it would, have, it would have just felt a little unfinished to me and that I could have done more, and I hate feeling like I could have done more. But next time, what I might do is lower those and add some sound bites over it so it's not as... You know, it's not the main thing you hear, which might help that. Now you've got Aldo determined. He know he thinks he's going to win this in his head. He, he's, he's, he's confident. And we go back a little bit. You've got Aldo's or Holloway's belt. Sort of a, a bit of a primal scream there. Aldo looking sort of a bit like he knows what he's got to do. This is... His chance, maybe his last chance. Holloway, focused, determined. Again, chosen for this. See his ex- expression, and then you've got this one here, which looks a bit quite intimidating, actually. I do like this one. That little expression he's got there. Now, if you missed that, we'll go back here. You've got, right right here, you've got Max. You've got Aldo. And then you've got the Octagon Girl with the, uh, what is this? How I, The thing they hold, you know what it is, where it's got the round number on it. Two, so I thought Aldo Holloway, two. I thought that would work. Or Holloway, Aldo, two is what it is. So Holloway first, Aldo second, and then two. And here you've got, just back there, you've got them all sort of, you've got them, you know, lifting weights and whatnot. But I tried to make it transition well. I wanted these in because I saw opportunities in there where I could uh, transition well. And I thought it would just add a bit to it. Because, you know, you, you know you, you, everyone has training sequences there, most of their promos. You kind of just have to. I mean, even in the UFC, they have bits of the UFC's promos, you know, bits like this. It's how it is. You've got to put some in somewhere. Okay, well, technically, you don't have to, but for th- they, they, they work well in a lot of promos. All right, let's continue. Now, did you catch that? We've got... So we've got Max going up, and Aldo just... He, he's going up. He's not all the way up, and then Aldo going up a little further, completing sort of the lift, and then he goes down, and then we transition back to Max. Ah, here you go. So um, I like this bit as well. Aldo's putting his hand wraps on. Then we go to him putting his hand in his glove. He's looking. This is a highlight of Max here. And then we have his, 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 his gloves getting laced up. And that's about it. So... Then you see, just going back a bit, you see Max with the belt, Max looking, and then, of course, I tend to end it sometimes. Well, on this and this one, I chose to end it with the uh, the champion as the last frame, and then it fades out, and the, and the poster comes in, which I, I, I'm happy with this poster. So, <clears throat> again, it's it's a theme of all those revenge, but also showing Max his journey a little bit and sort of I would say his I don't I wouldn't say I did a great job of portraying the journey of Max because that wasn't what I went for explicitly but there are sort of shades of it if you want to pick that out there are shades there there are bits in there of his previous fights but that's not the main focus it's more playing off the lyrics like I said so maybe it won't have a more a, like a traditional promo arc where it's um where it's sort of from start to finish it progresses but if you go through the lyrics, I think you can get a bit of story from it. Such as when darkness overcomes, you got Aldo, wherever that is. It's around here somewhere. And here you go, Aldo reflecting, all this kind of stuff. I just tried to play off the lyrics, like I've said, for like the fifth time. But yeah, 
I tried to play off the lyrics for a, for a story in this one. I've been experimenting with that a lot, experimenting. And this is the one where I said I did it the most heavily, or where I, I, I did that the most. So, yeah. I hope you learned a little bit and maybe sort of found it interesting when I took you inside the mind of me, basically, when I created this promo. I figured it would be... Uh, I figured it would be... I figured it would be not, I don't know about valuable is the right word, but I thought it would, maybe, maybe uh, it would just, just be interesting, you know, because it was also for me, you know, I wanted to wonder what, how other people interpret it, because ev- not everyone interprets it the same way, so I might interpret it one way and I'm creating it, but I can't guarantee that others will interpret it the, uh, the same way, especially when it's something lyric based. Now, obviously, how do I put this? No matter, like, no matter what, it's never going to be the same. But if it's something with like sound bites, a model where there's a clear, more traditional promo style, and it's a clear arc, it's easier to interpret because it's sort of right there. With lyrics and the shots you use, it's hard to delve inside the mind of the creator. It's hard to know what exactly they were thinking. So I thought I would just make this give you a little, give you a little bit of insight. And uh, well, I, I, I just maybe, maybe you know. I don't really know what else to say except what I just said. Um, I just hope it was interesting. I hope you learned a little bit about how I make promos. And uh, maybe if you're a fellow promo creator up and coming, maybe it helped you out when it comes to um, how you make some promos. I don't know. If it does, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. And with that, I think I'm going to end it. So, thanks for taking a look at this. I do appreciate it, as always. appreciate everything, all the support, you know, all that good stuff. The channel's been growing insanely quickly recently. Well, like, 1,300 subscribers is ridiculous. Thanks, everyone, for that, truly. And I shall see you in my next video.